And for more on the Academy Awards and the issue of lack of diversity, we're joined now by Erin Jackson. She's the co-host of Exhale on the Aspire Television Network. It's great to see you. Thank you for joining us live from New York. I wish we were both on the red carpet discussing this. But... I know, I know. <laughs> but we're not. But let's talk about the Academy Awards and how it's sure. become uh, under pressure, intense pressure this year for lack of diversity in color and women. Right, right. I mean, uh, and thank you for having me. Um, yeah, I think the, the lack of diversity in color is nothing new, but I think uh, um, the, the number of women that are in movies that were nominated for Best Picture, I mean, you have Julianne Moore, who I hear has given a great performance, and her movie was not nominated. And then, um, but I just listened to May's report, and I think it's, it's so true that over 90% of the Academy voting members are white and over 70% are men. So right there, it seems like that could be behind, you know, the lack of diversity in the nominees. We want to talk about the fact that only one win has gone to a female director over the whole 87 years right. in the Academy Awards. Why is directing such a male-dominated role? I mean, I'm thinking recently Angelina Jolie has been a breakout mm -hmm. uh, director. Who else is out there? Uh, well, definitely Ava DuVernay, who a lot of people feel was snubbed over Selma. Um, Gina prince Bythewood is a fantastic director. She did um, the movie that Gugu Mbatha Raw was in this movie um, this year. That was really, really good, uh, Beyond the Lights. Um, and and these are just these are actually female directors of color that I'm that I'm nominate uh, that I'm that I'm mentioning. Also, um, Victoria Mahoney. There are a lot of people out there uh, that are doing the work, but I think. You know, the industry tends to be kind of an old boys club and people have their network set up. And so if you get something greenlit, then this is your team and these are the people you work with. And I think, um, you know, it's been tough for women to, to infiltrate and make those those I hate infiltrate as a word, but to be able to make those um, entrees into the industry. And I think it, it shows. I mean, the the Academy president is a black woman. So I guess that's a step in the right direction. But hopefully uh, they're, they're going to become a lot more inclusive in their membership. Well, let's talk about money in Hollywood. That's that's the name of the game there. Um, right. Many of our viewers, and, and myself included, did, did not know about this test called the Bechdel test, which is some sort of test that if, uh, if women score highly on this, uh, they're more likely to be paid more in Hollywood. Tell us about this and uh, why male directors don't think that um, women can make the money and bring in the box office money. I really don't understand why that is because it, you, the numbers don't lie. It's 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 crazy to see that um, you know it's it's women want to see full movies and and real female characters and well-rounded stories and you know we've so long had to just see movies kind of about men where men are at the forefront and I think um, you know it. I have no idea, actually, Susan. Why is that? I don't know, but I definitely know it needs to change. All righty. Well, Erin, thank you so much, Erin Jackson. If I had more time, I'd ask you who you were, you were wearing, but you look just great joining us <laughs> live from New York. We really appreciate it. Well, thank you very much. All right.